hi guys. Uh, welcome to To Pick It Tuesday with Danica Mbuchari. Today we are going to have some Kienyeji chicken. Here we have our Kienyeji chicken, you can see. Very well portioned by Danica Mbuchari. Uh, we have our onions, we have our chicken cube, some ginger, garlic, tomato paste, two big uh, tomatoes, and a bunch of dania or coriander. Yeah, so today we are going to first boil this chicken so that it can become a bit tender because it's some Kienyeji chicken. Let the chicken first brown a bit before we add some water inside. Uh, meanwhile, I'll be chopping the garlic. You can chop the garlic or just pound it in a mortar. Then we have some ginger. When you boil Kenyaji chicken with ginger and garlic, it actually tastes better. So I'm going to stir it a bit, just a little bit. And then I'll add a bowl of water. Yes. Nice. Now you stir well. And let it boil for around an hour to an hour and a half. And then you add some salt. And then you make sure the chicken is covered. Then you cover the pot so that it simmers. At the moment it starts boiling, you reduce the heat so that the, the flavor can enter into the meat and it can be tasty and soft. So as you can see, our chicken is boiling. Yes, and uh, you can feel the aroma because of the garlic and the ginger. You can see some very nice Kenyaji chicken over here. So we'll give it a few more minutes for it to continue boiling. So as you can see, our, our chicken has boiled to our preference. You can see we also have the gizzard and the liver. So you know when you shop at Danikam, they'll deliver all the parts. You want to be asking for other parts. You will not be asking where is the gizzard, where is the liver. You can see here we have the gizzard. Yeah, so it is very well boiled. This soup can also, you can also drink this soup, especially now it's so cold. This soup will help you a lot. Yeah, and you can also add some lemon in it and it will be very tasty. So we'll turn off our gas and then now we are going to fry it. So in a pan, we have added some frying oil, then let it become hot. Add your onion. Toss them a bit. Yeah. So this is what you are going to use. To now give our chicken a bit more flavor and taste. So you let the onions cook until they brown. So as we can see, our onions have browned. Uh, now you, you just add like a clove of garlic and just a, just a few tubers of ginger to bring out the flavor more and uh, some nice aroma. Yeah. Then after that, you now add your chicken piece by piece. You can see a danikam, you even give him the neck. So please make sure you buy from danikam. You can toss the pan 
or if you don't have the strength to do it, you can just stir a bit. You just give it a minute or two so that it can induce the flavor can be induced into the chicken and it can brown also more. So all this we are doing under high heat. I have not reduced the heat under high heat. And then after that, you add in your tomatoes, sliced tomatoes. A tablespoon of tomato paste. So since because we did not add time while we were boiling, you can just add a little time right now, like a, a half a tablespoon and a chicken cube. Then you can sauce it a bit. Since it is Kenyaji chicken, it has some chicken stock. You can add a little bit of the chicken stock to stir a bit. As you can see, the flavors are already starting to combine and the aroma in this place is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. You can add a, a little bit of the chicken stock. instead of adding water. And then you, you cover and let it simmer under low heat for around 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, we can see it has simmered and it is looking very delicious. So now we just garnish it with some coriander or dania. Yeah, you garnish. Now this is ready to serve and we are going to serve this Kenyaji chicken with some ugali. It is very, very tasty. Uh, you can do this any day, as you have seen it has not taken a lot of time, just an hour and you're done. So this is courtesy of Danny Kambuchari, stall number 56 at City Market. Thank you and have a blessed day. This is Chef Zuma.